the Bitcoin is at the decision point. Right now we are about to make a huge movement and we have an exclusive information that will help us to understand if it's going to be higher or lower. So keep watching. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Samo from My Crypto Paradise and right now you are looking at the video I have recorded two days ago for you and I have shared with you that after we have broken to the downside from this symmetrical triangle we will continue to go lower and we will stop right here at this important support at $69,000 and voila, let's have a look what happened exactly as I have predicted in the previous video. I have told you that right now this is an extremely important support zone where we will go I've told you this is also the target of the symmetrical triangle breakout and voila here we are and we have had an extremely nice reaction which we have exploited with Paradise Simmel VIPs by creating an absolutely high probability high conviction great risk to reward trade where we have opened our long position right here exactly at the lower time frame local bottom and as you can see once we have got the conviction that the whales are closing their short positions and it will create a surge to the upside we have opened one more trade which means we have increased our position size and as you can see we have hit all our profit targets and right after we have took our profit the whales what they have done they have started to dump their spot bags and look at the price action this was the short covering and then they have dumped right here on a spot exchange and that's crazy created this nice surge. So why this trade was such a high probability, high conviction trade that we have just needed to take with Paradise Simul VIPs? Let's go through it. But firstly, let me just remind you that in this video, we will just go through everything very quickly. This is just a short update where I will go through this lower time frame analysis. Then we will go to high time frame. We will take a look at USDT dominance and what kind of effect it has on the Bitcoin price. We will talk about that and also then we will finish with a weekly ultra high time frame analysis that will help us again to predict with much higher probability what's gonna happen with Bitcoin next. So right now let's go back to our one hour chart. This is lower time frame for us and what is the reason that we have entered a high conviction long position right here at this level so first of all we had a strategy right we have learned with the paradise team over the eight years that without a plan your plan is to fail right so professional trading is really just like a great game theory it's like a chess right so when you don't have a plan then you are like 99 percent of other traders and in the long run you will lose because you are basically just gambling right but if you have a strategy you have have a game theory and you count with the possible scenarios that can happen then you can make very nice high probable trades that in the long run will make you very rich so first of all we have understood the Elliott wave pattern right as I have shared with you in the previous video we are in a corrective price action right now and this correction pattern should happen in ABC right so we knew there is going to be some B wave to the upside before we continue lower to our main medium time frame support zone right here the other thing was that we have been observing and waiting to hit this support zone right so this was not only the target of the breakout of our symmetrical triangle as I have been sharing with you in the previous video you basically need to place the counting to to the breakout point after successfully counting the depth by placing it to the bottom and to the top right so this is pretty much the target right but trading just based on this would not make you a high professional profitable trader you need to always count with more confluences right so together with that we have also confirmed this level importance by checking the previous price action and as you can see at this level exactly previously we had these counts of week outs so previously this level worked as a resistance and i told you previously it worked resistance then we broke above it now it will work like an extremely strong support zone right so that was another thing also we have been calculating and analyzing the previous wave right here so we have placed our fibonacci retracements tool to the 
bottom, put it to the top, and as you can see, it nicely synergized with our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is the strongest one, right? That is why we knew there is going to be some kind of reaction, but that's still not enough to make professional trades. Ladies and gentlemen, we have also been waiting for some bullish divergence, and for that we had ready our MACD oscillator indicator right here, and once we saw that this downward pressure is losing steam, is losing momentum, we have had another confirmation that we might have some spike to the upside. So let me show you what I mean by that. We had bullish divergence because we have been losing momentum on the indicator. As you can see, the indicator on the histogram have been making higher low, however the price have been making lower low, right? So even though the price went down, the bears got weaker. And if you are in our MCP school free, you know exactly how this bullish divergence works, how to trade it, as you can see indicator when making higher low, but the price is making lower low. This is a classic bullish divergence. The momentum is decreasing and the probability of a surge to the upside is much higher, but it's still not enough for us in my crypto paradise to create some trades. We need more confirmations, right? So we have also been looking what's going on behind the scenes, where the whales are placing their buy limit orders, what the whales are doing, right? So we have seen this buy limit order right here worth few million dollars. And basically before the price action to the upside started, they have placed a buy limit order right below the market price, not to risk that somebody will drag the price lower at the time when they are covering their short position. So as you can see, they placed the buy limit order there then they have started to push the price higher by covering their short positions that's another sign we have been checking out if you are short in bitcoin you basically open a short contract right once you cover your short positions it's automatically creating long contracts that is why this search to the upside was just artificial and once they covered their short positions they removed the bit right here and they started to dump on a spot exchange, okay? So this was another confirmation for us. And the final one was also the volume. We have been watching the volume right here. You can see that the volume on the price down movement was decreasing. Can you see that, right? With the price down, the volume was on a decline that also confirmed that the bears are getting weaker and we will need to have some kind of surge to the upside. So that was basically the reason for this high probability long trade that we have taken with Paradise Simile VIPs. But you also know that we are still expecting a lower prices, right? This is just an ABC momentum. That is why not only that we are short from this level on Bitcoin, but we have also used this search to the upside to increase our short positions. Let me show you what we have done as a swing trade. We have been shorting Bitcoin right here almost at $72,000. We have very much lower targets. As you can see right now, we are nicely in profit. We have secured our position by moving stop loss to break even. And the next trade that we have opened as we had this search to the upside is is Ethereum swing short position and as you can see this is also right now in a nice place and a nice profit and even though we are expecting lower prices we have already secured our positions because we are respecting a great risk management money management and we understand that this is the most important stuff for the trader to be long-term profitable right now we are below this moving average trend line so we are under a bearish trend as you can see this was just a deviation from the bear trend and we have already retested this support by three touches right one two and right now third one the fourth one might go and push the demand away so we are watching out for that definitely what we don't want is some kind of bullish divergence that would mean that some new money are flowing into the market but right now the probabilities are on a bearish side until we can reclaim this orange line right let's take a look at our high time frame analysis this is a completely different game than what we do on a lower time frame as you can see in a play there is the bearish divergence right the price made a higher high but the indicator have made 
lower high so we are under bearish pressure that is why we have the swing short positions on but right now we might have some upward momentum coming if we will be successfully holding above this moving average trend line the b pullback that we had on a lower time frame might not be enough okay and before we go lower towards our major high time frame support we still might have some shaken outs to the upside so be very careful about the short term price action because right now we can see that some people are in an over leveraged short position so we can have some kind of short squeeze higher before we go lower okay so it is very important that you play in it safe but as you can see the bearish structure is still in play there is the bearish divergence and we are on the way from the current look of the market we are on the way to go lower towards our major high time frame support zone still as a confirmation for that we will be using usdt dominance as you know when the usdt dominance is going up that means the money are flowing from the cryptocurrency when it's going down the money are going into cryptocurrency from the stable coins as usdt right right now you can see that we are at the support zone major high time frame support zone but if we zoom in on a four hour time frame on medium time frame we can actually see that we are right now trying to retest our 0.618 fibonacci retracement level and if the usdt dominance will be unsuccessful by reclaiming this resistance level higher it can start going lower create another lower high right this was previous high if we are failing to reclaim this resistance we will create another swing lower and that will mean that bitcoin might have some kind of shakeout to the upside so current daily close and weekly close will be very important so we are watching that in the paradise team and we are definitely on the watch out what the smart money are doing where they are flowing and speaking about weekly time frame right now let's take a look at our ultra high time frame chart right here and as we can see we are about to close weekly in one day and nine hours and if the weekly will close like this below this resistance this is going to be bearish from the view in the next months okay also this candle if will close below this resistance it will actually create an inverted bearish hammer candlestick pattern and as you can see if you have this long quick at the upside and the body with a minimal shadow to the downside it's actually can signal an upcoming reversal in price and we might go into a little bit deeper correction okay so we are watching for this and if it closes bearish like this as an inverted hammer candlestick pattern it will just increase the probabilities that before we can go to $93,000 we will first need to retest some lower levels before finishing this D wave that after it's finished will take us towards $93,000 in this E wave formation so I will keep you updated ladies and gentlemen this was just a quick lookout of what's going on at the current market situation so trade smart trade safe and I will see you on Tuesday cheers